Hello, 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 hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Kevin Obasu Victoria, and welcome to Teaching Ourselves Serenity BDD with Selenium, right? Cucumber and J Unit, right? So, so far we have um, downloaded and imported a Mervin project, right? A Mervin Serenity project into our Eclipse, right? And this is a project we imported from last video. If you for, if you watch that, so it's a Serenity J Unit starter project, right? We got that from GitHub, right? So you can go over to GitHub, watch the watch the previous video to this. You know how to do this, and you can import this into your Eclipse, and you're ready to go, right? We just want to talk briefly around the um, the project project structure, right? So our project name is Serenity unit starter right and we've got a couple of directories in here that we might want to talk about right for a Mervin a Mervin uh, project right for imagine a uh, serenity Mervin project um there, there are there is always a pom file right this the main thing is a pom file right and then there's the the, the the project structure itself and there's other folders as well right we'll, we'll come to talk about the pom file the pom XML file. POM stands for Project Object Model, right? It used to be called, well, it went to, it went on to be called Project dot XML file, but then it went back to POM XML file, right? <clears throat> anyway, I digress. <laughs> so, the project structure for the Maven project, you have this a uh, the directories, right? So you have a source main Java directory, which is this one. And then you've got the source test Java directory, right? And this project that we we got or imported from a Git a GitHub, these are these are the tests that it came with, right? So the the class files that it came with. So so in subsequent videos we will be deleting this and trying to create our own test create cases from scratch and running them. Okay, so. In the main, in the source main Java uh, directory, this is where the Java source code for the artifact is held, right? And for the for the test, the test, uh, 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 the source test Java uh, directory holds the Java source code for test, right? Not for the artifact. So the main holds it, the main it directly holds for Java source code for for the artifact and the test one holds the source test Java directly holds a Java source code for test right and then the other main directory here is the source test resource directory which holds the config files for test right config file for tests and stuff like that, right? And you have also some other directories, and in here you've got the Maven Maven dependencies. We'll come to that when we talk about the POM file, right? Uh, and then you've got Gradle in there. So these are just coming through from this uh, startup um, Serenity J Unit Starter project that we uploaded from GitHub, right? So we don't know much about this, but we can use it to run our first Serenity Maven uh, uh, test cases, right? So this is a POM file, right? So a POM file is very, very key to any project because this allows you to configure and maintain your... Um, so we'll just open that file. Oh, it's already open. <laughs> so it allows you to um, to configure and maintain your Maven project, right? And uh, it starts off with giving a module version, right? So the module version for this POM for this POM file is 4.0.0, right? And usually Mervin uses the group ID, the artifact ID, and the version to identify which sort of artifact it's dealing with, right? And this packaging is what sort of output from that artifact, right? So the output here is a jar, right? So here for our group ID, we have net serenity bdd starter right that's our group id and artifact id is serenity j unit starter right that's artifact group id so and our version as this is always a default to a 1.0.0 snapshot 
right? So these three keys are used to determine what sort of artifact it is, right? And this jar or packaging tag is for the output, right? So we're outputting, outputting a jar. And all this is all this is, is just a name of your Mervin project, right? So we we've called it well. The one we got from GitHub is called Sample Serenity BDD Project using JUnit, right? So we're going to be using this to run our first test case um, using Serenity, right? So next you come to the properties, right? So the properties. This is just a, a Serenity version, the Serenity Maven version. So this is. 2.0.91, 2.0.91, and this is the a, a source coding, a source encoding. So the source encoding is UF, UTF-8, right? UTF-8. So that's that's your properties, um, and then you get your repositories, right? Your repositories, and these are the bin trees, right? So the bin trees, um, it's all. It's, this is the way. Serenity uses to um, yeah Maven uh, the Maven project uses to I think it uses to compile to compile your artifact and software. And don't don't quote me on that, but we are learning as we go along, right? So after your your uh, repositories, um, you come to the main core of core of things, right? So your dependencies, your dependencies, right? Dependency is now a key. Depending what you want to do with your project, you will need to have key dependencies in here, right? For the Serenity, uh, Serenity with with um, with, with JUnit, uh, you will need to have at least the core Serenity core and Serenity JUnit dependencies, right? You need those two to 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 be able to run your test cases, right? And then you have various other dependencies in here. You've got, you got a, a log back, you've got J unit dependencies, you've got a, so there's the more dependencies, right? So you really need all these dependencies are key, key, and also you need some plugins, right? You need some plugins, and all this you need for your your uh, POM file to to actually, you know, a do what it's supposed to do which is a, a give you the platform or the project of i mean the, the ways of running your test cases right so and this is just populated from when we start running test cases we will populate some of that right and yeah so this this is your 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 um pom file the pom dot xml file in a nutshell uh, as i say it's important for for configuration for configurating and for configuration and maintaining your um, how you want to structure and run your your maiden project okay so i hope that's a bit clearer and um, we are just learning as we go along and um, we are teaching ourselves serenity uh, bdd right if you've if you've not uh, caught on to that so far and um, just now we've just looked at the pom file and looked at the project structure right the pre just in a nutshell, we'll learn more as we go along, right? So we are here to motivate each other, to empower each other, to learn, to to take our self, you know, directed, self-directed education is key, right? So that's why I'm here. I'm here to motivate. I'm motivating myself. I'm uh, empowering myself through self-directed education, and I'm using that knowledge to move myself a uh, upper uh, in my in my i'm leveraging this my my knowledge i'll now leverage my nine to five to take myself to another another level where <clears throat> i give myself more opportunities right and i'm hoping you could do the same as well but my name is kevin Owasueto. in the next video we should be looking at how we set up a, a, a config file right or looking into the serenity uh, properties and also setting up a serenity config file right and also setting up uh, drivers right and then after that we'll go we'll go on to um running our first um, test case right our first automated uh, serenity uh, bdd test case maybe test case whatever right thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe and follow the journey learn as we learn along with with um with with this channel okay
Thanks for stopping by. Stay blessed. My name is Kevin Owasu Itoe. I sign out now.